All right, Coach, I want to kind of go on a little bit of a journey through the 2014 season and that championship run, but I think we really got to take it back to 2012 and talk about the chase. You were down at the national championship game between Alabama and Notre Dame, and you saw something you couldn't get off of your mind. What was that? Yeah, I, we were we just finished a 12 and 0 season, and in Columbus, Ohio, you know the way that all works, and you know that better than anybody. They anoint you as the greatest team of all time, and you start to believe that. So we went 12 and 0, and I think you knew, I think I knew, and I think the team knew that we were we were a good team. But it, we, I, we were a great team, but I'm not sure we were a national championship level. And so I went down uh, as an analyst to watch the game, and I remember stepping off the stage and watching Alabama come out of the tunnel and I uh, watched their warm-ups uh, their players looked you know the, the the quantity not just the quality because our quality was fantastic but they just had so many players their fundamentals I thought they were better coached than us I thought their warm-ups were sharper than ours and I sat down at the uh, on the uh, set there and I texted Volt I texted Coach Marotti all support staff all weight staff coaching staff and said the chase is on, and we're going to chase Alabama. Yeah, I remember that. The chase is on, and the chase is real. The text came through, and it really started something that we had chased basically up until we got the chance to play Alabama in the semifinal. That was the 2014 season. I just kind of want to go on a little bit of a journey there because I think the season was defined by adversity. And I remember sitting in preseason camp and watching Braxton Miller hurt his shoulder again. I, I can remember the pit in my stomach, and then the sleeplessness after we played Virginia Tech and lost that game, and then the anxiety I felt when Costa Cara George went missing during rivalry week, and then finally, of course, the deafening silence in the shoe when JT got hurt. And I don't think we actually win a national title that year without going through that level of adversity. From your standpoint as a coach, what was it like navigating the team through that? Well, you, I think you said it best, Josh. Uh, adversity, as awful it is at the time it happens, it builds character. I mean, it, it does one of two things. It separates people or it brings people together. And the one thing about the 2014, the leadership, you being one of them, the captains, the leaders on that team, to this day, as good as human beings, as good as leaders, it galvanized us. The tougher things got, the better we got. So JT Barrett takes over, you know, a little freshman quarterback takes over for Braxton Miller, uh, our Heisman candidate, our best player. I remember calling Shelly that night and saying, hey, get ready for a 7-5 and five season, which doesn't go well in Columbus, Ohio. Get ready because I'm not sure we can handle this. You know, I, we, didn't, our, our, we had a very good young team, and then we lose to Virginia Tech at home, which obviously that can't happen. And then we got on a journey, and we just got better and better and better. And anyone could see that with any football acumen or knowledge that that team, Mike Thomas started to become Mike Thomas. Zeke became Zeke. Bosa became Bosa. Joshua became, you know, Josh Perry. And then a guy like Curtis Grant, Jeff Hireman, and these players, Evan Spencer, that were maybe unheard of, became incredible leaders. That was one of the great journeys I've ever been on, and it was galvanized through adversity. I agree with that. And I, I think the leadership really directed us to this intent focus that we had in preparing for Alabama, which we achieved the chase. When we beat them, we felt like we could beat anybody. We made it to the pinnacle of college football. And then again, refocusing for Oregon in that national championship game, which was a completely different style of football, but we had to step up to that challenge. And you made a promise to us in the locker room way back in 2012 when you first got there that we'd be able to lift up the trophy and be national champs. How did it feel to make good on that promise? Well, if you remember the uh, Alabama game, this is the trust that I had in the leaders. You know, we were all set to have a full padded practice when we got, you know, I think we took a day off and then we were getting ready. I think we had eight or nine days to get ready for the uh, national championship against Oregon. And yourself, Hireman, Curtis Grant, and so I put the practice schedule together and I, I met with you guys because that was how important. And the Alabama game was so physical. And we decided, if you remember, I took two more days where we went just uh, uh, spiders because I, I, at that time there was zero concern about physicality and toughness. It was all about just getting you guys ready to go. 